My name is Brian Rule. I am the school counselor for the new Severn Run High School uh, in Anne Arundel County Public Schools in Maryland. Um, this is my 11th year as a school counselor, uh, my fifth year as a school counselor in Anne Arundel County Public Schools. Um, previously, I was a school counselor at Morgantown High School in Morgantown, West Virginia for six years. Uh, I graduated from WVU uh, undergrad in 2011 and the graduate program of counseling uh, in 2013. What drew me to the school counseling profession uh, is my counselor from high school, um, but not just my counselor, but the relationships that I had with my faculty, teachers, coaches, counselors, um, any professional that was in the high school setting. Um, I wanted to be able to provide that same foundation and support uh, in relationships. Uh, and I believe my counselor was the one who pushed me towards that. So the school counseling profession is very different than a lot of other pieces that fall within the educational system. And I believe the school counselor has more freedom than a lot of other uh, positions within the school building. Um, and that freedom allows us to develop those, those relationships that every student needs. Uh, I reference all the time in professional development or when I'm talking with other, pro other professionals in, in the schoolhouse in building those relationships is Rita Pearson's Every Student Needs a Champion. And if you are that person, for that student, then that's one more successful student that can walk across the stage uh, after high school is done. So the most important part is advocacy. Uh, there are a lot of people that are very lane driven and they stay in their lanes. The teachers teach in the classrooms, the administrators are there for the safety uh, of the school and the the professional development of those teachers and, and what can be best implemented in the classroom. And sometimes the social emotional development of those students, especially at the high school level, is put on the back burner and the school counselor is the person that needs to be responsible for that and the one who needs to advocate for those students to have a better opportunity um, that can be presented to them. So what have I applied? I, I think the biggest piece that I took from the, the school counseling program at WVU, um, that I, I believe you can boil it down to two things. You have your counseling theory, which sets up the foundation of how you develop those relationships with those students and with staff members, how you um, talk to kids and how you talk to adults. Um, I, I don't want people to think that when you work in a school building, it's just working with students because it's not. Uh, you know, at a high school in Anne Arundel County, um, you are working with upwards of 200 adults in a building um, and 2,500 students potentially. And it's, it's important to remember that your skills are not just applicable to students, but they can be, they can be applied to the adults as well. Um, so that's number one. And number two would be the, uh, the foundation of how you implement a school counseling program. Uh, the ask a model is the staple for what everybody wants to look towards and what that needs to look like at the, the individual level of the school. And, um, having the foundation that WVU taught me of what ASCA is asking us to do, but also have the ability to make it your own and implement that in a, in a schoolhouse um, gave me the wherewithal to know how to do that. So I had a little bit of a different experience at WVU because uh, myself and only one other classmate um, in my cohort that graduated in 2013 were both uh, undergrad graduates from WVU. So everybody knows WVU has the best culture in college sports on, on the college campus. And that translated directly into the graduate school. And that's something that I really appreciated. 
Uh, I came from a high school that had a great culture. Uh, I was an athlete, a student athlete myself. Um, so that's something that I always wanted to, to be a part of and to, to have a strong um, implementation piece in. And uh, the culture is where, um, you know, everything starts for, for the school. And I believe if you ha lay a good foundation, then, you know, everything falls into place. So my message to aspiring school counselors is take it one step at a time. Um, it, you know, the school counseling profession is changing every single day. Uh, you know, going into a school day, um, very different from a teacher, very different from an administrator, like I said, is, is very different day to day for a counselor. One day you could be doing something that you didn't plan for, uh, but the next day, you know, you have trouble finding something to do because everything has fallen into place because you built that good foundation of a program. Um, but my message to counselors, aspiring counselors is going to be take your time, learn from those people that have been in the profession. Um, you know, take everything with a grain of salt because uh, it's everything that you hear from other counselors or from other educators is not going to be your belief system and uh, how you want to operate within the building and to talk to students. So what you learn, apply it to your, your, um, your idea of what education should look like and how you would like to operate in the school building. So my message to other counselors is keep grinding. Uh, I know it's hard. I'm here with you. Uh, we're doing it together. Uh, rely on your peers. And, you know, keep, keep consulting, keep talking, keep, uh, keep, like I said, keep grinding because every day is a grind. And, uh, you know, when, when we get to the finish line, which is, you know, in Anne Arundel County, June 12th, uh, you, we, we get the summer and, you know, we get to reset. Um, so rely on your people, talk to your people and, uh, you know, we're all in this together.